What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because in yesterday's video we did a Blackwing deck profile and in today's video we're going to be showing off some combos that you need to know for Blackwing to be competitive and successful in today's format with this deck. Now if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos just like this one. We upload five days a week here on this channel. Deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, product openings, all that good stuff. It's going to be right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that guys we're on the way to 7500 subscribers i appreciate every single one of you i we might even be there honestly by the time you guys see this video you guys are the best you guys are the reason why i still continue to do this and i love to do this every single day thank you guys all for watching i can't wait to get right into the video so i guess with that let's get right into the video all right so if you guys saw yesterday's video we did the black wing deck profile this is the profile that we did in yesterday's video however in today's video we're going to be showing you guys some combos that you need to know to be competitive and be successful in this deck which is insanely insanely cool i'm really excited to get into these combos so let's just get right into them so this combo only requires a Samoon in hand as well as any other Blackwing name. So it's a 1.5 card combo. It doesn't have to be two Samoons, in this case it is, but it could be Samoon plus any other Blackwing name. The reason I'm doing it with a second Samoon is just because it doesn't really do anything for you. If you have other Blackwing names in your hand, you can push this combo even further. But this is just the most basic way to do the combo and it's very, very powerful. So we're going to start off by activating our Samoon here to banish the other Blackwing in our hand to be setting or activating, I should say, not setting but activating the black whirlwind and we're going to get to get the extra normal summon here of the samoon which is insanely powerful right now what we're going to get to do is we're going to get to activate the black whirlwind to search a sudri now keep in mind we still have our actual normal summon for the turn so what we're going to do is here is we're going to get to normal summon our sudri we're going to get to activate the sudri effect as chain link one and then chain link two we can activate the black whirlwind now the really cool thing about this is we're going to be able to search the vada off the black whirlwind but we're also going to be able to search the shamal off of the sudri the only reason we're playing the one Shamal is because you only really require it for the combo. Opening Shamal is actually not that great, especially because it just takes up slots in your deck that could be anti-meta cards or cards to combat against the meta, which you really need to be able to do with this deck. So that's why we're playing only the one Shamal. Now, in this case, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually activate the Shamal from our hand to get a Black Feather Whirlwind to our side of the field. This is very important to the combo because it's going to help you extend a little bit further. Now, what we're going to do is special summon our Vada. Vada has an insane effect on field where you can use monsters from your deck to pretty much synchro summon which is insanely powerful because we get to send the Zephros the elite and then now we can send any other level two doesn't really matter which one we're going to send let's just send Chinook so here we're going to be summoning our black winged dragon now what we're going to do is it's going to activate our black feather whirlwind and that's all we're going to activate the special summon back our Vada all right now at this point we don't want to activate the Shamal just yet because we need something to get to the graveyard for Shamal to be really relevant so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to special summon a Nathan from our extra deck here. So we're going to be using the Vada as well as the Sudri here to summon the Nathung. Nathung is going to activate to burn your opponent, but then you're also going to be able to chain Shamal because now you can add the Sudri back to your hand. Now the really cool thing is Nathung gives you an extra normal summon. So what does that mean? We can actually normal summon our Sudri again. And again, these effects are not once per turn. Black Whirlwind effect to search is not once per turn. Sudri effect to search is not once per turn as well. So here we get to get the normal summon. We're going to do it all over again. Sudri is our chain link one. And then we're going to go Black Whirlwind is Chainlink 2. Black Whirlwind is going to get to search an Oroshi for us. This is very important. And then we're going to also get to search the Blackwing Twin Shadow. Twin Shadow is a disruption on our opponent's turn. So that's really why it's really important to search it. Now what we can do is we have two level sixes on our side of the field. So we can actually overlay into our Wallow right over here. Wallow is going to act as a nice DD Crow kind of card, especially against a tier limit matchup. It's insanely powerful. Then what we can do is still special summon the Oroshi over here. Now we can use the Oroshi, which is a level one tuner, as well as our black winged dragon to special summon our hot red dragon archfiend abyss now abyss is pretty much just an omni negate for you which is extremely powerful and then what we're going to get to do here is summon our zephros back from bouncing our black whirlwind which is really nice because now we have protection for our black whirlwind if you guys uh see that sudri is now in defense positions because oroshi activated to put it in defense i didn't mean to press that but i pressed it by accident but yeah here we go we have two level fours on our side of the field now so two level fours are going to get to make our evil swarm nightmare over here which is another form of disruption so here here, it's not once per turn when your opponent special summons a monster you can detach a material from this card and then put that in face down defense position that's really powerful against this right matchup and any other matchup really then we have the dd crow effects here of wallow we have an omni negate and then we have a pop two with our black wing twin shadow so this is your end board you have one two three four 
five, six, six disruptions here with just a Samoon and any other Blackwing name in your hand. It's really powerful. Keep in mind at this point as well, you're going to have Black Whirlwind in your hand, but you're also going to have three other cards in your hand because this was just a two card combo, right? Or 1.5 card, but we can say two cards because it required two cards out of your hand. And then you're still going to have four cards at the end of your turn. After you do this entire combo, you're still going to end with four cards. So what happens if you open Samoon plus a Blackwing, any Blackwing name plus a Black Whirlwind? Now the last combo showed you just Samoon plus any name. Now what happens if you open the extra Black Whirlwind? Keep in mind, Whirlwind's a three of, so it's very possible to see these two together, right? And if you do, the combo goes crazy. So let's start off by activating our Whirlwind here, because of course we're gonna wanna be able to search multiple times. Keep in mind, Whirlwind is not a once per turn, which means if you have multiple Whirlwind, you're gonna get multiple searches. So here we're gonna get the second Black Whirlwind, and we're gonna be able to normal summon our Samoon here now we're gonna get to search two cards that's that's just what's insane about this combo is you're literally getting to search two cards here with your black whirlwind the first one of course is going to be a sudri which is insanely powerful we all saw how good this card was right and the second card you're gonna search honestly it doesn't matter at this point because you're gonna be searching more cards later so it doesn't really matter which one you search first in this case let's just search uh, an oster it doesn't really matter or we can search uh Hamadin. but let's just search oster here just because this card is really powerful as well let's normal summon our sudri here oster is also follow up but it's also going to be used in this combo which you guys will see. So let's use our Sudri. We're going to activate our Sudri as Chainlink 1, of course, and then we're going to use our Black Whirlwind as Chainlink 2, as well as our other Black Whirlwind as Chainlink 3. We're getting to search three cards off a single normal summon here, which is insanely powerful. Let's search Avada, of course, with the first Black Whirlwind. Then with the second Black Whirlwind, you can search, uh, I guess we can go with Harma in here. And then we're also going to get to search a Shamal off of our Sudri here. So let's search the Shamal right away. And then Shamal is going to be really good here because we're going to activate its effect to activate our Black Feather Whirlwind. Then let's special summon our Vada. Vado summoning itself here is really powerful because again, it puts monsters in your graveyard and the monster you're going to want to put is a Zephyros as well as your Chinook here. Now putting Chinook in the graveyard is very important because you guys will see why later, but putting Chinook effectively is going to get you an extra hand trap at the end of this combo. So here we're going to go for the Black Winged Dragon and then we're going to actually get to activate our Black Feather Whirlwind here to special summon our Vada directly from the graveyard. And then we're actually also just going to use the Shamal here now because Shamal is going to get to add back the Chinook. Chinook is really, really powerful because this card is effectively going to act as a hand trap for you. So now that you have this board, you can use the Vada as well as the Sudri to special summon a Nathung. Nathung is really important here because it's going to get you an extra normal summon. We're going to put it in the extra monster zone so that we have extra zones to work with here. So what we're going to do now is because we have the extra normal summon, we're going to use the Oster as our normal summon. It's going to activate its effect and then we're also going to be able to use our Black Rowan's effects here. So here let's special summon the Samal directly back from our Banished Zone. We're going to get to use the black whirlwinds here as well which is really nice so we're going to use the one and the two here we're going to get to search our roshi which is important for the combo as well and then we can search another vada here just as follow-up keep in mind how many cards we're getting out of our deck at this point so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually just special summon our roshi right here and then with a roshi and black wing dragon what we're going to do is we are going to make our hot red dragon archfiend abyss all right so we're going to make that now we have an omni negate which is really nice but here what we can do is actually just go directly into a full armor master because we can use a black wing tuner as well as a black wing non tuner. And at this point we have two level four tuners, which is really nice. So here let's just use the Oster as well as the Samoon. We can keep this Nathong. It doesn't really matter which one we go into, but here we're going to go into this, which is effectively a towers for you. And then what you're going to get to do is you're going to get to special summon the Harmaten over here, and you're going to be able to special summon the Zephyros as well. You're not going to use the level modulating effect. We're going to be able to special summon the Zephyros. We're going to bounce back our black world wind summon the zephyros here then what we can actually do is go straight into our boreas with our shamal as well as our harmaten and now that we have the boreas on the field we can actually go straight into our black winged assault dragon using monsters from our graveyard because we can use the Black Winged Dragon as well as the Boreas here to make the Assault Dragon, which is insanely powerful. And then what we can actually do here is because we just have these two cards over here that we're not really gonna use, we're not really gonna need, we can actually just end off on an IP Mascarena with our Nathung as well as our Zephyros. And now what we have is three cards in hand. We're actually gonna have two more cards in hand, so we're gonna end on five cards in hand. We have a Towers Monster, we have an Omni Negate, we have a Black Winged Assault Dragon, which essentially is gonna make your opponent lose life points every time they activate a card effect guys as i'm editing this video i completely forgot to mention that black winged assault dragon also has another effect where each time your opponent pays 700 to activate an effect it gets a black feathered counter and then when it has four or more you can tribute it 
to destroy all cards on the field so this card is insane in that sense but also the black feather counters are really good because you put it on the black feather whirlwind which now gives you protection and i forgot to explain how actually good it really is keep in mind you've already burned them for 800 through the thong so this is going to put them on a timer you're also going to have ip mascarena which is really nice because ip plus your black winged assault if let's say they're going to out it some way is going to go into unicorn so that's another form of disruption so right now you have a towers you have a burn card you have an omni negate and then you have a shuffle back with unicorn this is all off of just activating some moon plus having a black whirlwind in hand so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that was some blackwing combos that you need to know now keep in mind there's a lot of other blackwing combos out there there's a lot of combos that you guys can do there's a lot of ways you can even extend the combos that i showed you even further however these combos are very basic combos that i think if you guys understand these ones you guys can take these and then expand on them so i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on spanko deck profiles combo videos dual replays product openings all that good stuff it's right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that i appreciate every single one of you thank you guys all for being here with that spanko sign no. peace